Hi everyone, this is Lance Harvey from Runtime Recruitment. So today I just thought I'd share my experience of, of creating a media center using the Raspberry Pi single board computer. Now if you go to Google and you type in Raspberry Pi media center, you're going to get a whole swag of different search results. Now there's a lot of them like XBMC, which is quite common, and Kodi, but I'm a minimalistic uh, person. I like elegance. I like you know, I, I like things to look nice. Aesthetics are very important to me. So I came across this particular distribution called OSMC. Now, MC is a media center. And if you click on this little animation, you can see how minimalistic it is. And it looks very, very nice. So I thought to myself, I want a bit of that. So how do I get it onto my Raspberry Pi? Well, it's very, very straightforward. So let's have a quick look. You can go down here. You can go to this section. It says download, and it tells you what devices it can run on. Now, they've got their own hardware called Vero, and it can also run on the Apple TV first generation. I happen to have a Raspberry Pi 3, so it's very, very straightforward. What you do is you download the image. Now, if you're on Windows, you can do it through this link, OS 10, and through this link, and even Linux. So I'm on OS 10, so I actually downloaded it from here. Now I'm not going to show you how to actually install this on your SD card because there's loads of videos on the internet, and I'm going to actually link to one of them, which is very, very good, explains that process very, very well. So the other thing about this, and I'll, I'll show you actually in this video as well, it, it all powered up and everything. What I wanted to do was how do I control it? How do I control it? Now there's many ways you can control this thing, you can actually control it using an Apple controller, Apple Apple TV controller, or, the, or even your TV controller. But I wanted to use my smartphone. Well, funny enough, there happens to be an application called Core, which is all I saw I'm showing you here, actually, um, that you can actually download from the, from the Google App Store, and you can run that up and then connect over Wi-Fi. Uh, because it's actually connected over HTTP and control your music center, your media center using your smartphone. Isn't that cool? So that's basically what I did. So let me show you how that's done. So what we're doing here now is just as you see a little cat there, um, we're just going to navigate through the menu. This is actually YouTube that we're looking at, looking through the, the different channels just to find one which might be interesting. Found a channel which is actually a promo for a movie, upcoming movie. And the music starts to play there. So um, what you can also do is swipe to the right, as I'm about to do in a minute, and you can basically take the actual. You can control the video. You can, you know, you can scrub the video. You can stop it. You can start it. You can uh, turn the volume on and off. You can do a, basically the, the normal controls you find on a video player. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and it's all done from my smartphone. And what you're seeing is just a screen capture of my smartphone which is pretty cool. So I've moved away from that now, and I'm just going to now go into another channel there. This is another one with James Coden, who's one of, as an English comedian guy that does uh, American TV chat show. And uh, again, uh, very, very uh, easy to navigate around the, the, the actual controls of the media player. That's what I love about it, the fact that it's in your, in your hand and you can basically navigate around. Now this is basically some of the controls that you can go to. Now we're going to go to the music channel, and we're, and we're actually going to be playing some music. This is broadcast live music from a music channel. This happens to be a dance floor channel for the 90s music. And, um, and you can add as many as you like. There's loads of them there. So whatever taste of music you have, you can just, just load them up. So what else we got here to show you? Then... I'm going to go to the iPlayer, the BBC iPlayer. Uh, having been, having come from the UK, I quite like listening to some podcasts. So here we are. These are just some podcasts, actually, of Radio 4 in this case. And uh, we are going to be selecting BBC Radio 4, The Unbelievable Truth. And that's going to start playing now. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to navigate using your smartphone. And since you have your smartphone with you anyway, why not use it and install core the application and off you go i reckon it's a fantastic piece of kit very easy to set up only took me about 30 minutes off you go now if you like what you see and you find these videos instructional why don't you subscribe to my channel 
And if you're looking for a job as an embedded engineer, or if you're a client or a company that's looking to hire embedded software engineers, check out our website at www.runtimerec.com.